right, so good evening, everyone. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. We made it to Thursday. I can see that, right? Just one second. Let's see who we have in the class right now. Mr. Edwin, hello, sir. Mr. Miguel Jimenez. Um, Miss Sonia is over here. Miss Hernandez Carmen and Miss Portillo. Hello. Good evening, teacher, everyone. Good evening, everyone. You know, I hope it rains tonight because it's a little bit hot, right? It's a little bit hot. So we're about to start in a couple of minutes, all right? We're about to start. In the meantime, I'm going to share the screen and just refresh your mind of what we did yesterday. As far as I remember, what we covered uh, last night was this uh, exercise which you actually liked. And I think that you enjoyed doing this exercise because it was like a strange, right? Strange things or the strange uh, laws that applied in several countries uh, throughout the world. Like for example, you, you thought that eating kangaroo, uh, kangaroo meat in Australia was a false statement, but in reality, those people over there, they eat their national animal. Almost the same case as here in El Salvador, like we eat carrobos, I mean, people do, right? Or, and that's illegal, right? Okay. And something surprises is that um, in Brazil, if you go to a restaurant and if you buy food, they wait, the, the, I mean, you pay the food by the kilo, right? By the weight. That, that was interesting, I, I guess, right? I think that was interesting, what we did yesterday, okay? And it was fun. Creo que fue interesante y divertido, right? And we also talked about this conversation between the grandma and the granddaughter in which the granddaughter was explaining the grandma, mom, how to use the computer to get a recipe because she was going to cook something, right? So you learn. Hello. Hello, Nancy. So we learned yesterday the pronunciation of button. Uh, hold on. So we learned uh, to pronounce button, recipes, um, first print or printer, etc. All right. I also suggested that when you use the negative form of, of don't have to, you can say wrong. You don't have to, right? Like with that pronunciation or whatever. We also practice a, a conversation, right? All right. And we did this listening. And this was the, the last thing that we did. Okay. So tonight, what I have planned for you is an is a, uh, exercise or an activity in which you have to check if the animals can or can not do the following activities. So that's what we have for you tonight, okay? So yesterday it was about loss in Australia, in Brazil, in Singapore. And tonight is the, is the opportunity for the animals to see what they can do, all right? La oportunidad de, de los animales de defenderse, ¿verdad? Que pueden y que no pueden hacer, okay? So that's the deal for this evening, my friends, okay? Let me just one second over here. One moment, please. All right. So the first activity will be individually, all right? I'm going to send to you right now the access to this activity, okay? 
So let me just move on to this. One sec. Can you hear me well, by the way? Can you hear me well? No se escucha cortado. Si alguien me confirma, por favor. A little bit, teachers, but the last phrase this is okay. Okay. All right. Yes, this, the thing is that I got a message stating that my connection was not stable. All right. So I was a little bit worried about that. Okay. So let me just hold on this over here. One second, please. I'm going to share with you the uh, access to the animal activity right now in a second. So just one moment, please. Okay, so here we go. I'm sending this to you through the chat. And let me know, please, if you're able to access it with no issues at all. Me hacen saber, por favor, si um, tienen ac acceso al, al ejercicio, ¿verdad? Okay, so I'm going to share the screen of the uh, activity that we have to complete right now, all right? So just one second. I'm taking this a little bit slowly uh, just to make time and see if more people can join the class right now. All right, so be patient, please. Teacher, in this moment, uh, you are frozen. Oh, okay, I'm frozen right now. All right, hold on. Let me try to fix it right now, all right? Let me try to fix it, okay? All right, so please let me know if my connection is better now. Yes? All right, so the connection should be better now. Is it better? Yes, okay, nice. Yeah, I, yes, I have it. Yes, exactly. Okay, thank you. Sorry we about that. I received the, the word that. Yeah, you haven't, got the, you haven't gotten the material yet. Yeah, that's why. Hold on. I don't know, but sometimes that happens with the internet connection, right? It just fails, all right? All right, there you go. All right. Now you can look at my screen right now, please, if you don't mind. So take a look at my screen. So this is what I'm talking about to you. Yesterday, it was the opportunity for the countries to uh, share with us something about their culture. Like, as I was telling you, bueno, espero que no se, que no se escuche cortado, ¿verdad? Lo que los, les, les trato de compartir. All right, so as I was telling you, so yesterday uh, we, uh, learn that in Australia, they eat meat out of kangaroo, right? In Brazil, if you go to a restaurant, they wait for you paid according to the weight, right? In Singapore, you cannot buy chewing gum out of a news um, agent stand, all right? And so on. So for you, in this opportunity, what I have is, can animals do this? Answer the questions with yes, they can, or no, they can't. Basically, what you have to do is to take a look at the drop-down menu and click if, if, if it's yes or no, all right? And you do this individually. So right now it's 8.10. Let me give you two minutes for you to complete this activity, please. All right, two minutes. And we have uh, can crocodiles play tennis, can birds walk, 
can frogs fly? Can monkeys climb trees? And now can I have somebody who can help me uh, pronounce uh, the uh, practice, I'm sorry, the pronunciation of the second row? Alguien me ayuda para la segunda línea, por favor? Not with the answers, but with the pronunciation, please, of the question. All right? So can I have a volunteer who, uh, who can read the second line? Me? All right. Me? Thank you, Karina. Go ahead, please. Okay. Can birds fly? Mm -hmm. Can pinks play the guitar? Okay. Can giraffes, giraffes, giraffes drive a car? Can, 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 how do you pronounce? Ostriches. 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 Okay, can ostriches run? All right, so birds fly, pigs play, giraffes drive, and, giraffes. and ostriches run. Thank you, Miss Karina. Okay, you decide, right? You decide, brother. Um, another volunteer, please, for the third line, the next line, please. Line, Hello. the next line, please. Okay. Mr. Gamero, all right, help us. Mr. Gamero, all right, help us. Can birds think? Mm -hmm. Can dogs play football? Okay. Can elephants okay. swim? Can people dance? Dance. All right. Thank you. Dance. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mute your microphone right now. Oh, actually, you did. Thank you. Okay. So, can I have somebody else, please, who can help me with the next line? And that's the last one, by the way. Can cats jump? Yeah. Next volunteer, please. Who says me? Yeah. All right, Miss. Uh, ask you, you uh, go ahead, please. Uh, yes. Susana. Okay. Uh, sorry, Mr. Miguel, I didn't see you. All right, sorry about that. All right. Yeah, next you're gonna be the next one, Mr. Jimenez. All right. <laughs> okay, so Miss okay, Fernandez, no Susana, please. Okay. And cut the jump. Lions sleep, can birds cook, can dogs play computer games? Computer games, are okay. Thank you so much. So um, I'm going to choose volunteers in there right now. And Mr. Jimenez, you're going to help us with the answers over here. I will ask you, you just tell me yes or no, right? You don't have to tell me yes, uh, he can or yes, um, or I'm sorry, or no, they, they can or no, he can. Just yes or no will be okay. All right? All right. Okay, so let's go with the first row. So can crocodiles play tennis, sir? No, they can't. <laughs> can birds walk? Yes, they can. Can frogs? Yes, he. Yeah, he, he, can. Can, he can walk, right? He can. But in this case, it's in general, right? So I'm asking birds, right? They, right? Yes, they can, right? Okay, mm -hmm. the next one. So can frogs fly? Uh... I don't know. Of uh, course not, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But there are some, uh, some frogs in the Amazon that jump from one tree to another one and it looks like they fly, right? Right? But yes, they, are, yes. they, are, they don't right. really fly, all right? Okay. Uh, no, no, they can't. All right. So can monkeys climb a tree or trees? Yes, he can. Of course, right? Of course. Thank you, sir. Could you tell me a number from one to okay. ten, please? All right. Mr. Jimenez, tell me a number, please, from one to ten, please. Uh, uh, five. Okay, thank you. Mr. Eduardo okay. Hernandez, please. All right. Uh, the next line is for you. So, can burst fly, sir? Yes. Yes, of course, can. right. Yeah, kicks played the guitar. <laughs> no. Can giraffes drive a car? No. Can ostriches run very fast? A lot. <laughs> a yeah. lot, right? But they can they can't fly, right? No. Absolutely not. All right. Thank you, sir. A number from from uh, eleven to twenty, please, sir. Uh, Twelve. All right. Thank you, Miss Sonia Lasso. Uh, the next line is for you. Remember, this is just practice, all right? And okay. 
Yes, can birds sing? Um, no la veo bien. Yeah, can birds sing? Yes. Yes, of course, right? Not the way human beings sing, right? But they sing every single morning, right? Mm -hmm. can, can dogs play football? No. Can elephants, elephants okay. swim, right? No. All right. I'm not sure about elephants, right? Okay. Uh, so can hippos dance? No. Oh, they can, right? Oh, okay, thank no. you. Could you tell me no, uh, a number from 15 to 20? Yeah. What? Can you tell me a number from 15 to 20? Um, 18. 18, all right. Miss Vanessa, please. The last row is for you. Can cats jump? Okay. Um, yes, they can. Yes, they can. All right. Can lions sleep? Yes, they can. Actually, mm -hmm. they sleep a lot, right? While uh, female lions mm -hmm. are hunting. Okay. It happens a lot. So can birds cook? No, they can't. <laughs> Not at all, right? <laughs> Can dogs play computer games? No, they can't. All right. No, they what they do is that they uh, uh, buy the homework, right? That's what kids said. That. That's what. Yeah, it's it's All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, for that. So, um, this was just a practice about yeah, somehow in a fun way, right? But in a different way. Right now, we're gonna move to a different activity. And things are gonna get a little bit uh, more serious because this activity has to do with things that we're allowed or not to do with laws or prohibitions right now. Okay. La siguiente actividad va a tener que ver con las cuestiones que nosotros se nos permite o no se nos permite hacer. So very quickly, as I'm speaking, I'm sending the uh, access to the next activity to you. All right. So just one second, come over here. There you go. The second activity has to do with this, all right? Vocabulary, complete the list with can, can't, and a verb from the list, all right? And you have some um, signs, I can say, like no swimming, uh, this uh, Discord accepted, no cell phones allowed, parking, you can park over here. Um, coffee is available, uh, Wi-Fi uh, is, is uh, allowed. No pictures, please, or no cameras. No soccer allowed. Uh, so you can go to the right, I guess, or can continue and here is, be careful, right? Risk of skidding, right, or sliding. So, we have the signs over there. So how many signs do we have in total? How many signs do we have? How many? 10, right, Miss Susanna. All right, you're, you're right, thank you. Okay, so, and then you have over here, fill in the blank. So you have to type in here, okay? And, and then we have the statements. For example, number one is already done for you. You can't swim here. Yeah, you have the sign in there, right? And then number two, you can pay by credit card here. That's number two. What about number three? We go, you, your mobile phone in here. All right, so in that case, since it's a no, you have to state it like this, right? Hold on, let me do something over here. You gotta be careful with, with the apostrophe in here because, uh, most likely it'll be difficult to find the right apostrophe. It should be like this, right? I think so, right? If the system uh, marks the statement incorrect, it's because of the uh, punctuation mark. Aquí hay que tener cuidado, ¿verdad? Si el apóstrofo o esa comilla, ¿verdad? Que está en la parte superior, está muy separada, el ejercicio se lo va a marcar de forma errónea. Okay? So you have to be careful with that one. It's the same case as the platform, right? Just like the platform. So let's try to do this, please, individually, right? 
And then you got to click where it says listen and check. So you have two ways to find out if what you did is, uh, was correct. Hay dos formas que usted averigüe si, si lo hizo de forma correcta. Y da clic en listen and check y va a leer por usted, ¿verdad? Una voz, creo que femenina o masculina, va a leer las oraciones por usted y luego le va a dar finish. Something that I need to clarify for you, all right? In American English, listen to this, please. In American English, quiero enfatizar eso. In American English, negative form of can and the positive form of uh, can are pronounced the same, basically. So there is no difference. The context will tell you if you're, if you're saying something negative or affirmative, all right? En la pronunciación inglesa de Estados Unidos, que es la que nosotros conocemos, el, ver, el verbo modal can en negativo, cuando va en una oración, ¿verdad? Si en contexto, no, usted no se va a detener a pronunciar la letra T. All right? Nobody does that. Nadie hace eso, de hecho. Okay? And that's weird. Entonces, no vamos a nosotros... Eh, no voy a decir perder el tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero no nos vamos a complicar, sería la palabra. A, a decir, you can't swim here. No, te va a decir, you can't swim here. Right? The context will give you the answer, right? El contexto le va a dar la razón. ¿Ok? But in writing, if you want to emphasize something in writing, what you can do is do it that way, all right? O sea, si usted quiere enfatizar y para que a la persona no le quede ni la más mínima duda de si usted le está diciendo puedes o no puedes hacerlo o puede o no puede hacerlo, escriba el can sin contractar. All right? Pero en esta actividad le sugiero que lo haga contractado para que no nos equivocamos. ¿Ok? Nice. So let's try to do this. So it's 8.22. Let me give you two minutes, all right, until 8.24, okay? Let me ask someone over here if everything is okay. Um, hold on. Let me ask Mr. Carmen um, Hernandez, is everything okay? No, no questions over here? No, no question, teacher. All right, I, thank you so much. I do. Yeah, sometimes I think that my connection is, you know, breaking up again <laughs> and you guys don't understand what I'm saying, okay? All right, so one more minute. Remember, if you want, you can share the answers with me in the chat, in a direct message or in the general chat, please. Okay, thank you. All right, so I'm going to choose some volunteers or victims, I call them that can help me with the answers over here. Somebody that has not participated yet, all right? And to start with, I will uh, ask Mr. Cesar Rivera. Can you help us with number three, four, and five, Mr. Cesar? Please. Okay, number three, so I can't uh, uh, use mobile phone her all right so you can use your mobile phone over here okay number four sir mm -hmm. uh, number, number four 
Sería. Ah, eh, ok. You can eh, park her. Park her. You can park here, right? Okay. The mm -hmm. next one, Mr. Caesar. En esta tengo dudas. Te quiero ver. Arriba sería el café. Coffee. All right, so let me see if I can help you. It says change, drive, have, park, play, take. What verb do you use, uh, Mr. Rivera, for drinking something? How do you, let me ask you this. Let me, let me ask you this. How do you say tomarse una pastilla? Sería. Do you say drink or do you, do you say take? Take. Correct. So do you see that verb in the list? Okay. Yeah, all right. So I think that's the one. All right. Sería, uh, you can uh, take a coffee here. It could be that one or it could also be you can have a coffee here. All right. So we don't know yet, right? But in real life, either verb would be okay, right? You can take a cup of coffee here, like drinking, or you can have a cup of coffee here, right? Por cuestiones de estudio, el, el docente que hizo este ejercicio pudo haber puesto take or have, because we don't have drink over there, right? O sea, el verbo más directo, el verbo directo sería drink, okay? But we don't have it. Así que eh, no le prometo si va a estar correcto. Let's say it's uh, take, all right? But it could also be have, all right? Entonces mi punto, Mr. Cesar, okay. es que aquí puede ser have o puede ser take, all right? We'll see. Pero por eso okay. que en verdad ya lo vamos a, a reproducir para, para que nos dé la respuesta. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you, sir. Um, let me ask somebody else over here. It's going to be a lady. Elizabeth, please, would you help us? Daisy, Elizabeth, please. Oh, sorry, teacher. It's seven and eight, please. Hi, teacher. Mm, tengo mis dudas. Um, mm -hmm. You can use. Yeah. Could be that one, I guess. All right. You can, you use, can use the internet here. The internet here, okay. Seven, please. It says photos here. Uh -huh. Seven. Seven. Um, no, la he. You haven't done it. Here. You can negative, right? Um, negative or positive? Are you saying? Um, positive. Are you sure? Because the the uh, team, this the sign says no, right? The message you is can... no. No. All right. So you can. Are. No. Oh, no, no, no. 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 So how do you say tomar use, fotografía? Use. Yeah, use, use your camera, you can say, right? Use your camera. But, uh, but in here is... Use, use, use for two. Photos here. Uh, o sea, si tiene I razón... Use. Ok, uh, solamente para aclararle un poquito por acá. O sea, okay. yes, you're right. En el sentido de que use, use a camera, usted puede decir, pero utilizar una cámara fotográfica, ¿verdad? Que ya nadie tiene, por cierto caso. Uh, pero en este caso, el contexto le está diciendo, ¿verdad? Ya la pista, photos in here, ¿verdad? Se dice tomar las fotos y usar la cámara, ¿verdad? Entonces son dos cosas. Es lo mismo prácticamente, pero aquí ya se lo está diciendo, le está dando la pista. So with that in mind, uh, Miss Elizabeth, uh, what would be uh, the best option? Use or take? Miss Elizabeth, so you can uh, take for, take photos here, or you can use photos in here. 
You can take photo here. Correct. You got it, right? Number eight. Um, Miss Elizabeth, would you help us? Football here. Positive or negative? Yes. Are you sure? Pos Look at the symbol. Um, you can play football here. All right, so you mean negative. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Sorry. You can play football. Here, you right. can play, play football, football here. In here. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Mr. Tony. Hi, teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, so, number seven in there. Let's number see. Number seven? Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. This is the symbol. I hadn't. I hadn't realized. You see here. It's like when number you... nine. All right. Yeah, number nine. Correct. And you see the verb in here. I see. I see what happened. All right. Money here. It's like when you go to the bank with a uh, a bag of coins. You go al banco con una gran bolsa de moneditas, and then you say, "Okay, de media veinte le voy a decir." Por centavito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please give me some bills in there. Right. You present okay. your statement. So what's the verb then? The verb, okay, so yeah. <clears throat> is positive. Uh-huh, correct. So yeah, I guess, yeah, um, you can, or you, you can. can. Mm -hmm. um, perfect. All right, for this card, take mm -hmm. up, by, by, by trial and error. Take, take. this already? No, take is used already. Ya utilizamos take. We use uh, played already, part, um, use. We use uh, use one time. Pay is used already. Swim is used already. Ya utilizamos estos verbos. So mm -hmm. the only ones missing are, are drive. Drive and change. And change, correct. And change. Uh -huh. You can change. You can change money here, right? Correct. You can change money here. Correct. And the last one, sir, you. Uh, look. Uh, what is? Oh. You see the symbol in there, right? Is, is negative? Oh, yeah, correct. Correct. All right, you can. You can. And use it. Use or drive? Uh, drive. All right, drive over there. It's no use, sir, you can, because. You can try to pass the here. Pass here, right, correct. Because this kidding means the deslizamiento de tierra, verdad, o de, o de rocas. Right? Okay. Over there, it's right. kidding, right? It's kidding in there. Okay. Now, I'm Me going to. Me está costando un poco. Okay, all right. But I appreciate the effort you do, right? Hold on, please. So let me let me stop sharing this and I will play the listen and, and see uh, what the actual answers are. All right. Vamos a ver cuáles son las respuestas en sí. All right. So I'm going to play this and you let me know if you're able to listen to this. Me hacen saber si se escucha. 3.38. One. Yes. You can't swim here. Two. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. You can pay by credit card here. All right. Three. You can't use your mobile phone here. By the way, the accent that you're listening to is British. So that's why in, in England, as yes, they make the difference, they say can, can, like that, right? Can. But over here, we don't say can, we say can. All right, just like that. Let's continue, please. Four. Four. You can park here. You can park here. Five. You can have a coffee here. All right. Six. You can use the internet here. Okay. Seven. You can't take photos here. Can't take photos here. Eight. You can't play football here. All right. Nine. You can change money here. Mm -hmm. Ten. You can't drive fast here. All right. Now, with your microphone off, 
uh, I invite you to pronounce these statements and I will choose two participants to help us uh, say uh, from one to uh, five and from six to ten in front of the class. Practiquemos, ¿verdad? La pronunciación, pero con el acento americano, ¿verdad? O de Estados Unidos. No vamos a decir can't, así, ¿verdad? Abriendo bien, ¿verdad? Nuestros músculos de la boca. Entonces, no, vamos a decir can't, right? Para positivo o negativo, ¿verdad? No vamos a pronunciar ni la T. Can't, no, no se hace. Si usted quiere enfatizar, le decía, va a decir cannot, all right? So I'm gonna do the uh, role modeling first. Voy a hacer como la parte de, uh, model, de modelo para que usted quizás pueda tener una idea. And then I'll pick two students, all right? Vamos a elegir dos participantes. Number one, you can swim here. Number two, you can pay by credit card here. Number three, you can use your mobile phone here. Number four, uh, you can park here. Five, you can have a coffee here. Six, you can use the internet here. Seven, you can take photos here. Eight, you can play football here. Nine, you can change money here. And 10, you can drive fast here. Uh, para una aclaración, right? Just to clarify what we're here. Y lo voy a decir así como quizás en español. Right? Me van a disculpar. El negativo va a sonar prácticamente como el, el positivo de Ken, ¿verdad? Pero hay que hacer como el mínimo esfuerzo de que su, en, en su lengua, el movimiento de la lengua, más o menos trate de ponerle la T por ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Bien pequeña esa T, como you can't take photos here. Y hey, una milésima, milésima de segundo, o no sé, usted trate, deténgase un poquito para decirlo. ¿Verdad? Si se nos dificulta eso, eh, diga el verbo como si fuera en positivo, ¿verdad? Pero la recomendación es, trate de por lo menos hacer llegar la pronunciación de la T, pero así mínimamente. Y tal vez se alcance a escuchar lo que yo trato de hacer, ¿verdad? Yo digo, el número number six, you can use the internet here. Number seven, you can't take photos in here. All right? En el número 7, la T del take nos hace el favor de pronunciar la T, ¿verdad? De can't, pero es como bien suave la pronunciación. O sea, lo que les estoy diciendo en pocas palabras es que no se detenga a decir, you can't take photos here, or you can't play football here. English is not that way, all right? Are we clear? Yes? All right, thank you. Um, or the ones not in their head, in there. So the first participant who's gonna help me with this is Miss Flor de Maria, all right? From one to five, please. Go ahead, please, and try to uh, pronounce them a little bit quicker, all right? Miss Flor? I'm gonna wait 10 seconds over here, if she can reply. All right, that's okay. In that case, I'm gonna use uh, our friend, Miss Claudia, all right? And then Mr. Tony is gonna help us with six through 10, all right? Hello, Miss Claudia. So all you have to do is to uh, say sentence one, two, three, four, and five, all right? Please. You can swim 10. All right. Uh, you can play, you can pay the credit card here. All right, by credit card. You can use your mobile phone here. All right. You can park here. All right. Uh, you can have a coffee here. That was good, uh, all right. You can, can use the internet here. All right, we're gonna internet stop over here. Está bien. Yes, correct. And. Thank you, Miss Claudia. And uh, Miss Tony will help us with the next one. Remember, uh, here, right? We say here, all right? Here. here. And for here. internet, 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 you can say internet or internet. So both pronunciation are okay, all right? Thank you. So Mr. Sure. Tony, help us with uh, seven, eight, nine, yeah. and 10, please. Okay. You can take for here. 
You can play football here. Mm -hmm. You can shine my hair. You can drive fast here. You can drive fast here under, all right? All right, so as you can see, this is uh, how we use can for uh, things that we're not supposed to do, right? For prohibition, para prohibiciones, más que todo cuestiones legales, right? If we break the law, if we break the law, we will be in trouble, ¿verdad? Si nosotros quebrantamos la ley, vamos a estar en problemas, all right? And that's for sure, all right? I'm not making things up. The next activity that we're going to complete will be um, a conversation, all right? And that's what I'm going to send to you right now. Para cerrar como con broche de oro, vamos a hacer una conversación. And this one, yes, you're going to practice. First of all, primeramente, individually, and then in purse or gruso three, all right? Let me share the screen with you right away. Just one second over here, hold on. Let me know if, if you got the, uh, the conversation max is in there. Um, I'm gonna ask somebody over here just to make sure. Miss Anayansi, uh, are you able to access that conversation? Right? A veces le pregunto, no, porque en realidad no hay, no hay acceso, sino que para ver si en realidad mi internet no está fallando tanto, ¿verdad? Yes, Anayansi, are you able to access the conversation? Uh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, can you see that conversation like that I just heard with you? Do you have access to the conversation that says uh, DVD movie rentals? Or rentals. Yep. All right. Let me share the screen with you right now. Okay. That one. So a general listen quiz DVD mo movie rentals. Can you uh, on your own? All right. Yeah, I see the faces over there. The, and the answer is yes. Okay. So as you can see in my screen, so this is the conversation that we're gonna practice right now. So please follow the explanation alone. Please, les pido de favor que sigamos un poquito la explicación. Okay. Apparently, this is a, an easy, uh, easy listening. It's about movies, and the speakers are man and woman. 32 seconds. That's a pretty short listening. So I'm going to read this, right? DVD movie rentals are very popular, or they used to be very popular because uh, they are not popular anymore, all right? Here in El Salvador, you can buy DVDs, but they are not original outside the supermarket, right? In El Salvador, compramos los DVDs, or la gente los compra. Fuera del supermercado, right? Afuera. So in the United States, that was very popular, like with the Blockbuster uh, store, right? For those of you who remember, or who actually uh, borrow DVDs from Blockbuster, you, you might give me some, um, let's see, confirmation with your uh, heads in there, right? Si nos acordamos de esa Blockbuster compañía. Continuo leyendo. Others like to buy DVDs either at a store or online. But now, since we have on-demand services with these platforms, uh, obviamente no puedo mencionar los nombres, ¿verdad? Pero tenemos competencias, ¿verdad? De los on-demand uh, services, ¿verdad? Lo que usted puede ver películas por catálogo, right? By catalog. So, under that logic, bajo esa lógica, Write down as many times of movies that you can. Vamos a hacer esta práctica, verdad, para no dormirnos. All right? And this is what we're going to do right now, please. If you want to do it, please. All right? That's, that's optional. Write down as many types of movies that you can. Escriba rápidamente, verdad, en, en 30 segundos, in 30 seconds, as many types of movies as that you can think of. Escribamos, hagamos esa práctica, por favor. In your notebook, or in your cell phone. If you want, you can share that with me. In English, of course, all right? So let, let me take the time over here, right? And we're gonna start uh, in a second, all right? We're gonna make this 
as fair as possible. Vamos a hacer lo más, lo más eh, justo posible. Vamos a compartir un pantalla por acá. Hold on, please. And I will give you, let's see, 30 seconds to write as many movies as you can think of. All right, the time starts. Now you have 30 seconds to write down as many types of movies that you can, or one minute, so let's say. In one minute, escriba los tipos de películas que, que, que usted conoce. No, verdad, los nombres de películas, sino los tipos. Go, please. You can tell me I know them in Spanish, but not in English. <laughs> that might be the case, right? All right, so 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so pens or pencils down, ¿verdad? Pongamos los oh, sus celulares, ¿verdad? Ah, abajo. Or stop, stop typing, right? Ahora, ahora un montón de, de formas, ¿verdad? Para escribir. All right, so can I have a volunteer, please, who can share with the class your list? In there, all right. Esto fue una lluvia de ideas. Brainstorming, all right. It's a brainstorming idea. Uh huh. Miss Karina, you want to share? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Um, horror movies. Okay. Romantic movies. Mm -hmm. Comedy movies. Okay. Um, the scary movies are the same. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is that a scary movie is actually a name of a movie, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's, it's, <laughs> it's horror movies, you know, that's the uh, category, horror movie. You say, like, you say like five, all right? That's it? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's okay. Thank you so much. Okay, somebody else, please. Hey, yes. Yes. Um... De suspense, pero no sé cómo se dice. Suspense. 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 Uh, drama. Drama, no sé yeah, se... yeah, correct. Uh -huh. Drama. The action. Action movie, yes. All right. Uh, y luego todas las que dijo ahí. <laughs> <laughs> me basé en el, en el, en el, en el, ¿cómo es que se llama? Me basé en, en, el, en el, No, no, en lo que impulsan allá en la venta de películas. Ah, ok, ok. <laughs> yeah, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> o se basó en Google, mentira. <risa> ah, mentira, no soy molesto. No, le dice películas a dos por el dólar. Okay. De drama, suspenso. Dos horas. Pero... Dos horas. Sí, sí. <risa> <risa> Thank you so much. All right, somebody else, please. Are we missing some? some okay, Miss, Miss Fernandez, Susana. Thank you. Okay. I have uh, some otros más. All right. A movie for superhero, Magic. Yeah. Novels, okay. actions, war, suspense, drama, comedy, horror, mm -hmm. love comedy. Um, quería poner uh, de caricaturas. Cartoon no, no. or animated. Okay. Okay. Animated. Okay. okay, de esas porque yo le puse animals. Yeah, but that's something else. So animated movies, right? Okay, animated movies. Animated movies, correct. All right. Yeah, so you mentioned the new ones or uh, or animated comedy, not comedy, fiction. War. Yeah, war. That one, correct about war. Yes. Superheroes. And based on based on true events, right? Like novels. Fantasy. Right? Fantasy, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. So now we have a, a wider and a bigger list, right? Tenemos una lista más más ancha o más grande, digamos. Thank you so much. Y la del cine mexicano, ¿dónde era? Mm, maybe classic movies, right? Mm, Clásicas, que correcto. Yeah, those are good ones, by the way, right? Those are good ones. You're right. But will you forget 
one, like El Viejo Este. So how do you say that one, right? Las históricas. Las históricas yeah. como Historical. Troya, no sé. Historical, you may say that, correct. Teacher. So how do you say eh, Del Viejo Oeste? Western. Western, Western. correct. Western. You say Western. Correct. Mr. Edwin, I... For who? Thrillers, or, 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 movie, movie. Thrillers. And sci-fi. Thrillers. Yeah. And sci-fi. Sci-fi, yeah. I guess we said that already, sci-fi. Are we missing something in here? Or I think we're done, right? Yeah, I, I think uh, we're done over here. Okay. So let's continue. Um, now, you're going to be also talking about the movies that you like. So in this, in this conversation, so in this opportunity, you are going to listen to the, uh, this audio, right? Of course, you're going to listen to this. Be careful with this word, you know, a movie buff. A movie buff is someone who knows, who knows a lot about movies. Maybe it's you, maybe it's your uh, friend, your husband, your wife, your brother, your sister, or maybe it's you, right? The one who knows about a lot about movies, okay? A movie buff. And we have this example, ¿verdad? Alguien que sabe mucho de películas se le dice movie buff, right? If you want to know anything about the movie industry, ask Phil, he's a real movie buff. Like there are some people who know who act, you know, which actor uh, already won an Academy Award, right? An Oscar, but hay personas que saben quién ganó Oscar or the name of the actors or the name of the movie or what happened in the movie in there. So maybe you are that type of person. So listen this individually, then you're gonna practice the conversation. And number three, you're gonna share which movies you like and which ones you don't like and why. Entonces vamos a hacer tres cosas en este ejercicio. La práctica de, de escucha, ¿verdad? Que hacemos siempre individual. La parte de práctica convers, de conversión, de, de, de conversación, perdón, diálogo. Y vamos a ir un, un paso un poquito más adelante. Vamos a, a, a compartir las películas que a usted le gustan or las que quisiera ver, verdad? Las que usted dice, no, eso ni me lo mencione. All right? So that's what we're going to do. So the movies that you like, the conversations, and the listening. All right? So right now, let me give you 30 seconds to practice this. But before you do so, I'm going to introduce you to the questions in there. Vamos a verificar rápidamente las preguntas. So we have action, like or dislike. Comedies, dislike or like. Horror, like, dislike. Love, right? I guess we missed that one, right? That romantic, right? Flor said romantic. It's the same as love, right? Like or dislike. Foreign, right? Foreign or extranjeras, right? Foreign movies. For example, if you like to watch movies in French or in Italian or in German, for example, and that's it. Okay. So 30 seconds for you, a minute, I'm sorry, for you to complete this activity, right? Le voy a tomar el tiempo, ¿verdad? Y si usted gusta, me comparte los resultados en el chat, por favor. So let me take the time right now, okay? So start listening, thank you.
All right, so time is up. All right, share with me, please, your, your responses in here. Thank you. All right, so if you don't mind, please, uh, you can share your, your answers with me, okay? And we're going to review the, uh, the answers in a second, ¿verdad? Si gusta, comparta la respuesta, ¿verdad? Al chat principal o si no, uh, en mensaje directo. Ya vamos a verificar cuáles son las respuestas. Ahí. Okay, just one second. Okay. I'm going to choose a participant that can help us with the answers in there. Okay. And I will do this randomly. All right. Miss Susana Portillo, would you help us please with the questions and their answers, please? All right. Ms. Susana, can you help us with the answers for the questions, please? Well, maybe she's not over here, All right? Yeah, she's not in there, okay. Um, Mr. Jimenez, would you help us, sir? Then. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Uh, action, dislike. Dislike. All right. Comment dislike. Okay. Uh, horror, dislike. Dislike. All right. Love, like. All right. I feel like we're like in Facebook, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the last one like and the last one foreign right it's like uh, it yeah that's boring, perfect like right? that's perfect okay. okay now let's move to the uh, uh part in which you practice a conversation in there okay now let me just one moment let me erase this and then we have down below the conversation it's a very short conversation by the way in there I'm gonna play it for you. Please listen up and try to practice the second time. La primera vez, verdad, sugerencia es que solamente usted se fije en la pronunciación. The second time you will actually practice, okay? The second time you will actually practice in there. All right. La primera vez que reproduzca el audio, le pido de favor que solamente siga la lectura, verdad, con su vista. Y la segunda vez que lo, lo, lo reproduzca, a usted trate de seguirle, ¿verdad? La pista. Ok. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Hold on. Technical issues, all right. I see that. Technical issues. All right, there we go. I'm gonna try now. Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party, and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Okay. What kind of movies do you have in mind? Well, what about action movies? I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Okay. Do you like comedies? Now, I do enjoy comedies. Fine. Well, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Um, I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films, too. Okay. I'll go to the video store and see what I can find. Thanks. All right, so that was very fast, by the way. And they said that this was an easy listening, right? I don't, I don't think so, right? Because they speak very fast, okay? Um, 
this part is a little bit confusing because she says, now I do enjoy comedy sing, and it sounds like if she's saying no, right? Aquí nos podemos confundir, ¿verdad? Si no escuchamos bien el now. Puede decir que sea no, okay? So that's what I'm saying. So now let me play it again and try to uh, pronounce, okay? Lo voy a pausar, ¿verdad? Cada vez que un, una persona hable. All right, I will pause it in there, okay? So you can say with your microphone off, con su micrófono apagado, vamos a hacer la pronunciación del man and the woman. Here we go. Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party, and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Okay. All right, now let's try to practice. I'm going to do the same as well. I'm going to mute my microphone. Todos practiquemos, por favor. So everyone, please, let's practice. With your microphone off, all right? Voy a decir yo una vez solamente. Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Uh, y perdón que me detenga demasiado en esto, pero quiero que subamos un poquito de nivel, no porque usted esté en un nivel bajo ni nada de eso, sino que no dependamos del texto de por sí. All right? Vamos a leer esto y las últimas dos palabras o tres palabras que dicen lo vamos a decir, ¿verdad? Léalo y como que levante la vista. ¿Ok? O trate de aprendérselo. Here we go. Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party, and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Okay, si usted mira de un lado para otro, ahí da a demostrar que no está uh, mirando fijamente, ¿verdad? Entonces, no está dependiendo mucho del texto. Okay, what kind of movies do you have in mind? Okay, what kind of movies do you have in mind? Tratemos de decir eso, ¿verdad? Sin, sin leer es, sin leer, por favor. So, okay, what kind of movies do you have in mind? Right? Okay, so what kind of movies do you have in mind? Aunque no lo diga tan rápido, ¿verdad? Pero trate eso. Okay, so what kinds of movies do you have in mind? Right? Thank you. Next. Well, what about action movies? Well, what, what about action movies? Since it's a question you just uh, can ask you, right? Si es, es una pregunta, usted la puede hacer, ¿verdad? So, uh, let's see here. It says, well, what about action movies? What about action movies, right? Hagamos la pronunciación, por favor. What, what about action movies? All right, next. I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Estamos en el papel, ¿verdad? La entonación que ocupa. So, that's intonation. Mm, uh, I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Tratemos de decir esta frase, you know, too much violence sin leerlo. Lo demás puede leerlo. Um, I don't really like, um, let's see, action movies, I think it is. Yes. Too much violence. Too much violence. All right. Thank you. Continue. Okay. Do you like comedies? Okay. Do you like comedies? La gente de hecho dice comedies. No dice comedies. 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 Una R es la, la última D. Comedies. All right. Continue. Now I do enjoy comedies. Now I do enjoy comedies. Le está poniendo aquí el do para decirle, sí, disfruto las comedias. Now, I do enjoy comedies. Ahora que preguntas, está diciendo ella, sí, disfruto las comedias. Continue. Fine. Well, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Love stories. Fijémonos que él no dice what do, así, ¿verdad? De una forma fuerte. Él dice waru, waru, waru. All right? Waru. So, fine. Well, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Right? So what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Cuesta un poquito, ¿verdad? Memorizarse eso. Pero yo lo que hago para esforzarme un poquito, pongo, ¿verdad? El, los cuadros de ustedes. Así yo no estoy, no estoy leyendo. All right? That's what I do. Let's continue. Stories. Um, I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films too. All right. Okay, I'll go to the video. I'm sorry. Hay que respetar los signos de puntuación, ¿verdad? Eso importa mucho. So, respect the punctuation marks. Oh, I'm not really crazy about horror movies. Hacemos una pausa, right? You pause over there briefly. But love stories are often fun to watch. Hacemos una pausa más, ¿verdad? Eh, un poquito de más tiempo. Oh, and that, un poquito más, más extensa. So, oh, and I really like foreign films too. Eso nos va a dar la entonación. Esa es una clave en el idioma inglés y creo que en el español también. Hacer las pausas nos va a dar la entonación. Making pauses 
gives you intonation. Okay, I'll go to the video store and I see what I can find. Thanks. Aunque nos cueste ahorita, ¿verdad? Y diga, ah, estamos tanto repetir esto. ¿verdad? Entonces, créame, a la larga nos va a beneficiar. All right? It's going to be beneficial for you. So now I'm going to make the breakout rooms and you will practice. All right? Because that's what you're here for. All right? That's what you're here for. Uh, hold on, please. Let me make the rooms in here. All right. Just one more. Okay. I'm making the rooms right now. I'm going to start uh, this already. Here we go. All right, so please join the breaker rooms. Thank you. night party and uh, i want to know and uh, i want to know what kind of movies you like okay what kind of movies do you have in mind well what about action movie um i don't really like action movies too much violence okay do you like comedies now well, what do you think of horror movies or love history? Histories. Mm, I am not really crazy about horror movies, but love story are often food to watch on, and I really like foreign film too. Okay, I will go to the video store and see what I can find. Thanks. Okay. Lo hacemos al revés ahora. Mm. Usted empieza. Sí. You're first. Okay. 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 Hey, Katri, I am. I know about horror movies. Horror but love stories are you often from watch. watch. Oh, and oh, I really and like for this too. too. Hello. Oh, se me apagó el audio. Okay. Me apagaron el audio. Oh. Hola, hola. Yeah, continue, nice. Mr. Oscar. Continue, yeah, continue Mr. Oscar. Sigamos. Okay. Fine. Well, what do you think of our movie or love story? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So who, who's next? Sorry. What's next? Sorry. Okay, the next. Okay. Well, 
All right, so continue, continue right, practice. So continue, continue, continue practice. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm not really. And I want to know what kind of movies you like. Okay. What kind of movie do you have in mind? Well, what about action movie? <laughs> 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 Le tocaría a don Ernesto entonces para comenzar nuevamente, ¿verdad? Vaya. Hey, Katie, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party and I want to know what kind of movies do you like. Okay, what kind of movie do you have in mind? What kind? Kind. Uh -huh. And in the mind, in the, in the, in the last word is mind minds uh -huh. well okay what about action movies ah i don't really like action movie the most violent much violence violent, much violence that, that's okay All right. okay okay do you like comedies Boy. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello, hey. teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Aquí estoy. Hey. Hey, Katy. I am thinking about return and more for my party, and I want to come to. I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Okay. Do you like the do you like comedies? No, I do enjoy comedies. Fine. Well, what do you think of other movies or love stories? <clears throat> um, I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but love history are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films too. Okay, I go to the video story and see it and see what I can find. Thanks. Yeah. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia like foreign? Foreign, 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 foreign. ¿Y qué es foreign? foreign? Extranjero. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, bueno, se nos acabó el tiempo. Yeah, sí. like, Susana, like, gracias. like 30 <laughs> seconds more, right? Sí. <laughs> sí. Estoy haciendo un gran esfuerzo, Ticho. <laughs> sí, verdad, o así sea, me fijé que se había levantado, verdad. Por... Ah, qué bueno. Y es casualmente yo le había preguntado. <laughs> ah, de verdad. All right, so welcome back. Sorry, so welcome back, everyone. Um, Teacher, excuse yes, me. Yes, Mr. Tony. Yeah? I have a problem the connection. Oh, okay. Sorry about it. Me sacó y acabo de volver a entrar. Okay. Sí, ahí mira el mensaje que decía a participant not assigned, y creo que usted era. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Acabo de ingresar nuevamente. All right. Uh, but did you have a chance to practice, Mr. Uh, Tony? Practicó? No, eh, eh, a eso iba, estaban los compañeros practicando y luego iba yo. All right, so let me help you then. So you're going to be the man in here, right? Uh, you will practice in front of the class. And can I have the sister you know, in here? Otro thank voluntario. You, All right, over there. Elizabeth, thank you so much. So, there you go. Uh, Mr. Tony, you start, please. Hey, Kathy. It's me or is... No, Mr. Tony starts like uh, to say hey oh, and then you, All right, please. Okay. Hi, sir. Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. Hi, Kari. I am taking a bone ranging a movie for turning pretty. And I want to know to kill of movies you like. Okay, what kind of movie do you have in mind? Mm -hmm. Well, what about movies? Ah, I don't really like action movie to much violence. Okay. Now, I do enjoy comic comedies. Fine. Well, what do you think of oral movies or love stories? 
Mm, I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but lot of stories are often fun to watch or, and I really like foreign fine too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will I go to go to the videos store and see what I can find. Thank you. All right. Thank you both. Okay. Uh, let me just reinforce some pronunciation and the, to everyone. Vamos a reforzar puntos claves de la pronunciación. Okay, si me permite. And with that, uh, I would say uh, goodbye to this pronunciation, right? No de la clase, pero todavía nos quedan como 42 minutes, right? Left, all right? Uh, so we say kind, all right? Kind. In this context, this means type. In este contexto significa tipo de, all right? O tipos de. But also kind significa alguien cortés, una persona buena gente. Are you a kind person? Cortés, educado. And having mind, ¿qué tienes en mente? What do you have in mind? ¿Qué se te ocurre? Okay. Mm. Let's see what else. Too much violence. Violence. Desgraciadamente, verdad, en el país esto nos afecta mucho, right? Violence. Violence. Violencia. Okay. Um, comedies or comedies. Hay que pronunciar bien la S. Películas de, de miedo, verdad, la que decimos nosotros. Horror. Hay que pronunciar la H. Dice que con la H es bien complicado porque a veces la H, igual que en español, es muda y a veces hay que pronunciarla. En este caso decimos horror, pero para decir honesto decimos honest. All right? So it's weird. <ríe> es bien raro. Ok. En this case we say horror, que se escuche, ¿verdad? La H aquí como que fuera J. Ok. J. Ok. Um... What is love stories? Stories, stories. No me voy a confundir esta palabra con history de historia, verdad? Cuestión académica. A stories de una historia que, que se cuenta, verdad? Que tiene un inicio y final y todo eso. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, foreign films, right? Foreign, foreign. Películas extranjeras, right? Films, films es la palabra correcta para películas, ¿verdad? Un filme, films, film, right? Film, okay. Do you have any questions about, about this pronunciation? If, if there are no questions, we're going to move to the next activity, all right? Can you repeat violence, please? Violence. Yeah, it's like that. The thing is that in English, Miss Susana, we need to make the V. Uh -huh. La V, hay que hacerla. Violence, como que se muerde el labio. Uh -huh. Violence. All right? That's the difference. It's the same, it's the same case when you say violin. All right? Violin, right? El violín. En español no hacemos la diferencia entre la V y la V. Okay? In pronunciation. All right? That's why it's difficult in English to do it. So that being said, I'm going to stop sharing the screen and move to that presentation that I have for you or, or something else in here. Now, there comes the time to take a look at some vocabulary, all right? Some vocabulary about this. Um, so let's move the class to uh, a different topic and this is going to be a review yo le digo el pan de cada día verdad lo que nosotros decimos nos referimos al futuro right the future tense and this is a review because we covered this in the last module right in a, in the last module esto lo cubrimos en el módulo anterior verdad no es porque no lo voy a explicar sino que es como una continuación de lo que vamos a hacer el futuro con be going to All right. La diferencia, verdad, me están preguntando entre la, la B labial y la B labidental, que es la V o la B de vaca, es que cuando usted menciona, digamos, be going to, la fuerza de voz es más fuerte. Be, 
B, B. En cambio, cuando dice la V es V, V, V. Hasta usted como que escucha un V, 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 así, ¿verdad? Entonces, como que hace la boca, como cuando va a agarrar una pajilla. <laughs> yeah, just like that, right? It's like that. So, we have some vocabulary. Ways to celebrate. Right? Esto nos va, nos va a ayudar a, a que nos introduzcamos en la siguiente temática de esta noche. Ok? Para descansar un poquito la mente. Uh, so, listen and practice. In this case, I'm going to mention this. And the context, the context is ways to celebrate. And let's do a brainstorming idea. Vamos a hacer una brain, como su cerebro, brain, luego storm, como tormenta. Eso se llama lluvia de ideas. Brainstorming. ¿Qué significa? In your notebook or your cell phone, do a list of 10 things or activities that you do to celebrate. Vamos a hacer esto en dos minutos. You know, in two minutes, write down 10 ways to celebrate. Right? Okay. In your day off, for a birthday, for an anniversary, uh, for your day off. All right? So 10 ways that you uh, have fun, all right? Or you celebrate with your family. 10 cosas, verdad, para celebrar algo o para distraerse. Okay? In two minutes. Are we okay? Yes? All right. And let me take the time right now. No, por favor, no comiencen todavía. Hold on. Let me take the time for you. Um, here we go. Two minutes to start. Now, pensemos en dos cosas que ustedes hacen para celebrar, ya sea en, en ocasiones especiales o algo distinto. Pero no le voy a dar la copia. Ahí. <laughs> All right. Vamos a ver si lo que usted piensa le pega a lo que el libro, verdad, está tratando de enseñarnos. All right. That's the idea. So we have two minutes. Se puede estirar si gusta, se levanta, ¿verdad? Para distraerse un poquito. One second. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Um, today, Independence, this is one. Independence Day, yes. Independence Day is for for the July. For the July, right? Independence is the United States. Yeah, correct. Yes, the 4th okay. of July, correct. This is one. Mm, esa, es una, esa es una ocasión especial, pero digamos que en el 4th of July, ¿qué hace? ¿Qué, o en el Día de la Independencia, ¿cómo lo celebramos? Eh, lo que le estoy pidiendo no necesariamente escribir la celebración en sí, ¿verdad? El evento, sino la forma en que usted puede celebrar una, una ocasión especial. O okay. varias ocasiones como Christmas, an anniversary, a graduation, Independence, Independence Day, a promotion, right? promovieron del trabajo, you get, you get married, you know, a wedding, things like that. That's the country. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Ando perdida. Uh, Miss Elizabeth, ¿está preguntando? Sí. All right, ahí está. Yes. Vale, básicamente, eh, eh, bueno, ahorita ya pasamos. No, 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 teacher, no me he podido, ¿dónde está la página que no que nos dijo que íbamos a entrar. No, ahorita no les he compartido nada. Solo es como una lluvia de ideas que para que usted genere de lo, y comparta de lo que se puede imaginar o lo que sabe. Eh, imagínese en ocasiones como una boda, wedding, graduación, graduation, anniversary, un aniversario de bodas, um, a birthday, in their cumpleaños, a promotion, lo ustedes lo promovieron o la promovieron de trabajo en el trabajo, um, many things in there, right? Um, after a surgery, right? Salió bien de una cirugía, por ejemplo, okay? Things like that, okay? You got a new okay. job, ¿verdad? Obtuvo un nuevo trabajo. ¿Cómo usted celebra, verdad, ese momento? 
Solo le doy ideas no. de, de ocasiones, pero usted va a pensar la forma en que nosotros celebramos. ¿Va? Offering, okay. offering a promise to God, going to mass, going to church service, a servicio religioso, um, something like that. Por eso es que se llama la actividad brain, como su cerebro, brainstorming, ¿verdad? Lluvia de ideas. All right. Teacher, repeat. Uh, the... Okay, teacher, gracias. Thanks. You're welcome. Yes, Mr. Tony. Okay, uh, repeat. Uh, uh, Ah, me apunta la lengua la tenía. Eh, aniversario era. Ah, anniversary. Todo. Anniversary. Con doble N y la Y al final. Anniversary. Anniversary. Ok. Anniversary. All right. eh, pero en el caso de, de cuando son esposos, ¿cómo se dice? Yeah, that's it. Anniversary. That's it. Pasa que ya se entiende, ¿verdad? Y es... Eh, a eso nos estamos refiriendo, un aniversario. De modo, aniversario. Pero si es un aniversario, digamos, por ejemplo, eh, eh, de los difuntos, día de los difuntos. Pero en ese caso, es una celebración. Uh, lo que pasa es que en español It's decimos que es un aniversario, pero es una celebración. Day of the, day of the ah. death, ¿verdad? El día de los muertos, ¿verdad? O de los santos difuntos. Awesome. But you can say that, you know, yeah, you can say that it's the anniversary of uh, of, of some someone's death, el aniversario verdad de, de difunto, verdad. Pero eso, okay. eso es más cultura, más cultura latinoamericana, fíjese, creo yo. Right. Mm, for, for example, in the United States, this coming Monday, uh, May the 21st, is Memorial Day. No sé si ustedes sean más o menos, mm. escuchó, right? Yeah. Lunes va a ser el día de los veteranos, ¿verdad? Memorial Day. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, sir. So, who would like to share uh, here or his list? ¿Quién nos comparte la lista, verdad? Vamos a elegir, bueno, que sean de forma voluntaria. Three volunteers. Miss Susana, you're the first one. So, two more, please, para que de una sola vez. Okay. ¿La, la digo? Yes, quickly. Okay. I decorate, I cook, I clean the house. I choose music, I dress me pretty, I put on makeup, I dance, I give hugs. You give hugs, all right. And you give hugs for what occasion? Uh, birthdays? Uh, New Year, yeah. Christmas, yes. anniversaries, Anniversary. birthdays. Right. Okay, basically for, for everything. <laughs> Thank you so much, all right. Thank you. All right, so number two, please, volunteer, right? Yay. Second volunteer. Karina? Okay. Right, thank you. For a birthday party. Uh -huh. uh, what do you do? To buy a cake. Oh, yes. To make right. some delicious food. All right. To decorate, decorate. the place. Mm -hmm. uh, to invite it all my close friends. Yes. All right. But right now you're a cluster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. That's great. Thank you, Miss Karina. All right, so Miss Hernandez, Carmen. Okay, play, for a birthday, for example, play funny games as Monopoly with my family. Okay. Decorate according favorite things, for example, mm -hmm. Minnie Mouse or any, if, if the is the my third birthday, for example. Then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give some surprise or gifts, it's special. Food, mm -hmm. make a special craft, make to thanks God. And you to thanks God in there and to, to cook something delicious, you said, right? Like special food. Okay. Um, one second here. Okay. Let's, let's see what the uh, book is telling us right now. All right. Let's see what the I'm book sorry. is telling. Yes, sir. Listen to me. Yes, sir. I can listen to you. Okay. This is. Uh, Continue the problem of the red. Me acabo de volver a. A sacar este de que, la clase. Sí, igual yo creo que estuve teniendo problemas. Eh, dice que da la casualidad, y esto creo que se lo comentaba a ustedes. Antes de la pandemia, yo estaba en, en un proveedor de, de internet. Pero por estar trabajando desde casa, mi esposa y yo, y estar aquí también recibiendo clases. Um, 
pedimos que nos mejoraran el servicio. No había cobertura, tuvimos que ir a otro lugar a pedir otra compañía y si nos mejoraron, duplicaron o triplicaron el servicio. Entonces tengo la, la gran casualidad que cuando me falla una red, me conecto a la otra. Right. Gran casualidad, obviamente el contrato eh, anterior ya me va a vencer, así que después ya me voy a quedar a ver qué pasa. Right. Así muchas veces he salvado la clase y eso estoy haciendo ahorita. Right. Entonces, well, a veces puede se ser. Que tengo 15 Perdón. Yo se supone que tengo 15 megas, pero está, está, está molestando. Uh -huh. Sí, uh, uh, Así que aquí estoy viendo cuántas barritas tengo, ¿verdad? Las cositas. Y al parecer ya, ya. Anteriormente a mí me estaba fallando. Así que puede ser que es su red y también es en mi red, Mr. Tony. Ok, teacher. Okay, Entonces eso aquí voy a estar pendiente. Ok. Si me vuelvo a salir ahí, voy a tratar de entrar nuevamente. Please, please. All right. We, we still have 30 more okay. minutes to go, right? 30 minutos más y ya uh, descansamos. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you. Right. Too. Thank you, sir. So what we have according to this material is decorate. Of course, we decorate for Christmas, for anniversaries, for weddings. You know, and we buy piñatas, right? Drinks, and basically everything. We eat special food, right? In the United States for um, Thanksgiving, they eat a lot of food in El Salvador for uh Christmas Eve, we eat special food too, or we buy special food, right? Like Chinese food or, you know, fried chicken and so on. We go to a parade, right? Like in September the 15th, Independence Day, we go to a parade, un desfile. We give gifts, right? Or presents, that's very common, you know, for weddings, anniversaries, for birthdays, for promotions, etc. Watch fireworks in this, and that's what people do in, in, in the States, but here in El Salvador, what we do is we explode fireworks, right? Or firecrackers. Voy a mandar esa palabra al chat de, de WhatsApp para decir cómo se dice eh, explotar los famosos cohetes, ¿verdad? O los cohetes, como decimos fire or explode fire crackers. Ok. Una cosa es los, los uh, fuegos artificiales, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es eso, verdad? Los fireworks. Y lo que le mandé al chat de WhatsApp, si gusta, guarde la verdad. Así se dice la famosa expresión, reventar cuentas. Right. <laughs> ok. So let's continue here. Uh, play music in Christmas. Grandes cumbiones, right? Or some other type of music in there. Uh, go on a picnic. We don't do this, I think, here in El Salvador. That's not very common. And we wear special clothes, ¿verdad? Nos arreglamos bien. That's for sure, right? So wear special clothes. Now, the holidays and festivals, you know, holidays and festivals. We're going to close the, the class maybe thinking about this, all right? And this is what you have to think of right now. I'm going to share with you this list, right? I'm going to share with you the following list. Oh, let me just one second, please. Oh, sorry. Uh, Les voy a enviar esta, esta imagen con estas preguntas, ¿verdad? Al chat. Permítanme un momento. Vamos a ocupar esa imagen como modelo. All right. But in the end, you're going to decide which uh, festivity, right? Or holiday or festival to talk about. Permítanme, se está enviando. It's being sent right now. Just one second. All right, there you go. All right, as you can see, what we have in the screen is, so what is the holiday, right? So what is the holiday? In this case, we have Cinco de Mayo in Mexico. You know, uh, Americans believe that Cinco de Mayo is, Mexi is the Mexican Independence Day, but in, in reality, it's not Independence Day, all right? It's when the Mexicans fought against the French, 
okay? And the Mexicans were able to defeat the French army and kick them out of the country. Sexuban in Japan, I have no idea what this is, pero mi punto es el siguiente. Vamos a, a pensar en un holiday, ¿verdad? Que es un asueto, una festividad en El Salvador o en otro país. Y vamos a ir respondiendo a estas preguntas, ¿verdad? Mientras yo las estoy leyendo, usted tal vez las puede ir respondiendo, ¿verdad? De una sola vez. Y cuando haya terminado un tiempo prudente, vamos a ir a los breaker rooms a compartir del holiday la información que usted sepa o que usted va a buscar, ¿verdad? En línea. All right. So that's what we're going to do right now. So the first question is, what is the holiday or festival? Maybe Christmas, all right? Maybe Independence Day, Mother's Day. Now that, that we're in, in the Mother's Month, you can do Mother's Day or the next month, uh, Father's Day maybe, right? Or, 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 or you may do something else in there. Uh, Semana Santa, right? Holy Week, okay? New Year's Eve. But you can say my birthday, right? It's a holiday. <laughs> okay. Uh, when is it? ¿Cuándo cae la fecha? ¿Cuándo se celebra? When is it? What are you going to do? It, and you have to consider COVID-19 uh, precautions, you know, or measurements. I can consider las medidas del, del COVID-19 or the context COVID-19 situation, right? Hay que ser realista, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se celebra? O también puede, puede eh, usted incluir, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo lo va a celebrar? Dado el caso que el COVID, ¿verdad? No esté. Cap caso hipotético. So, where are you going to go? If you're going to go somewhere, right? Who's going to be there, ¿verdad? ¿Quién va a estar con ahí? No sé. Pues usted tiene un anniversary already planned, a birthday, um, a graduation, right? Bien, bien, bien común, ¿verdad? Que las graduaciones se han postergado, right? They have been delayed, right? And when are you going to go? How are you going to get there? Así que, en teoría, podemos hacer esto de forma hipotética o una forma real, ¿verdad? Práctica aplicada, right? De algo que usted ya sepa, un holiday around the world or the, something special for you o algo especial para usted. Hold on, please. Voy a dejar de compartir la pantalla. Necesito compartirles algo aquí brevemente. Permítanme. Vamos a poner luz. Pero la imagen de la referencia está en el chat, ¿verdad? Permítanme. All right. According to the search that I just uh, did, I have the list of the 10 most common holidays in the world. Voy a compartirles eh, una información que ahorita acabo de encontrar. Solamente es una lista, pero usted puede tener otra cosa distinta. The, the top 10 biggest holidays around the world. Okay, Christmas, Hanukkah. This one has to do with uh, the... Uh, Jewish celebration, right? I think that's a celebration of New Year for the Jewish community, right? Tiene que ver con el, la gente, el pueblo de Israel, right? Hanukkah. New Year or New Year's Eve, ¿verdad? El año nuevo es este y el New Year's Eve, si usted le agrega después la E, la V y la E, Eve es la víspera de. Chinese New Year, I think it's celebrated in February. Creo que el año, año chino es en febrero, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Ramadan and Eid al Fir. Ramadan. Islam. Islam, correct. Es cuando ellos, cuando sale el sol, hasta que se pone, eh, hacen ayuno, right? And they start eating after sunset. That's what they do. So they fast. That's the Ramadan. Eastern, este es el nombre pagano que se le da en el hemisferio eh, norte, ¿verdad? Occidental, es decir, Estados Unidos, a la celebración que conocemos como Semana Santa, ¿verdad? Lo de Pascua, but that's something else, right? Eso es más 
uh, aplicado para eso. Right? But you say Holy Week, right? Si usted es creyente, va a decir Holy Week, ¿verdad? Semana Santa. O oh, aquí es más secular, ¿verdad? Eastern, secular. Valentine's Day, right? Diwali, I have no idea what Diwali is, right? I have no idea de eso. Creo que lo que no sé yo, caso personal, es Diwali. Ok, that one. Usted no tiene que elegir ninguna de estas listas. All right. Solamente le estoy dando como ejemplo, ¿verdad? Para quizás ayudarle un poquito. Ok. What was the reference? My friends. La referencia es esto, ¿verdad? What's the holiday or festival? Cuando se celebra, when is it? What are you going to do? En el caso de qué es lo que va a hacer. O si usted lo puede poner, ¿verdad? En, en, en general, qué es lo que va a hacer la, las personas o qué hacen las personas. All right. So what do people do? Okay. Or what, or what are you going to do specifically? And who's, who are you going to celebrate this with? ¿Con quién lo va a celebrar? Okay. Or if you're going to drive, go to a hotel, you know, spend your vacations in there. Quizás puede ser que no sea una celebración así, ¿verdad? Como un asueto. Puede ser su celebración. Perdón, de algo. O puede ser su vacación. Your vacation. All right. Mr. Francisco, are we okay, sir? Do you have a question over here? Or do you have already a holiday in mind? I'm very fine, teacher. All right. So, and what's the holiday that, that you want to think about or talk about, sir? Um, okay. Summer. New Year? New Year, yeah. okay. All right. That's a good one, sir. Mm -hmm. Let me send you to a breaker room. You might help each other by giving uh, ideas to one another. Lo voy a enviar a los, a los grupos compartidos para que nos ay, podemos ayudar a darnos, darnos ideas. And at 9.45, you may start practice, you know, for five or ten minutes. Por unos cinco minutos vamos a practicar esto. Okay. I know right now you're thinking about that, right? Una sugerencia que les puedo dar, right? So some advice is write the uh, ideas down and then explain them, ¿verdad? Escriba las ideas y después describalas, explíqueles, right? Explain them or describe them. All right? Okay, Mr. Francisco, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to make the break rooms right now. Okay. One second. Hold on. All right. En un minuto los envío a los, a los grupos compartidos. Permítanme. All right, so uh, let's join the uh, the rooms, please, right now. If there are no questions, I'm going to send you to the break rooms. Si no hay preguntas, lo voy a um, mandar a los break rooms, okay? Just one second. There you go, please join the break rooms, my friends. Thank you. Right, so can you join the breaker rooms, please? Thank you.
Mr. Oscar, are you able to join the rooms? Sir? Hola. Sorry, uh, the rooms are open. I'm, I'm in. Let me send you. Let me say, let me say, let me say, let me Un día feriado. Ajá, es vacación. Entonces es festival. Es is festival. En Castilla. ¿Mm? Ah, si querés, pregunta, ah, pregúntame. Vale. Yo me quedaba por las cinco, pero al menos avancemos con esas. Vale, yo... What is the holiday or festival? It's Mother Day. Mother Day. Day. Hello, hello. When is... Hello, teacher. Bueno, perdón, perdón Qué que bueno lo siento, Rupa. No... Dígame. Qué bueno que nos puso <ríe> nuevamente en el grupo. Sí. Eh, hijo, hijos, hijos pródigos o hijos meritísimos. Ay, no, es estábamos. Que... Yo sufrí en el. <ríe> Estaba sí, muy al fin, triste. Al final me compadecí, así que mentira. Sí, era lo mejor. Sí, sí, mira Ay, que no. César sudaba, sí, sudaba, sudaba. Bueno, pero, yo, eh, yo estaba bien ahí. Sí, o sí, sea. No sé. ah, ah, me extrañaba, mira, típico, ahí. típico de, de los de hombre, va. Ah, mentira. Sí. Típico de los César. Ajá, de los César. De los Little Caesars. Por el, por el dicho, el refrán, el refrán que tiene. Vale, una sugerencia, eh, perdón. Si gusta, usted puede escribir como un pequeño párrafo y eso puede leer, ¿verdad? Para que no estar pregunta y preguntando. Si, si gusta o si no, vamos pregunta por pregunta. Pero uh, a mí me gustaría mejor que, que usted compartiera la información, ¿verdad? De una sola vez y después. Wow. Teacher. Teacher, primero es elegir el, el holiday o el festival y luego cómo lo celebramos. Exactamente, usted va a decir que uh, se hace. When, when is it? When is it, correct? Ah, yo, por ejemplo, este, le decía a ella que me hicieran las preguntas que estaban aquí en este orden porque yo las había contestado. Bueno, al menos me quedé por las cinco, yo contestando las preguntas en base a cómo yo lo celebro. Sí, de hecho, esa forma está bien, ¿verdad? Pero yo, yo lo que quisiera es que ya pasemos al siguiente, al, al, al siguiente eh, capítulo, digamos, de ya que usted mm. hable por 30 segundos de algo. Las preguntas son de guía solamente. Mm, ah, ok. Yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Como que se está haciendo una presentación, pues dice, ok, a uh, 5 de mayo en México. People ah, ya entendí. Uh, go to restaurants. Día de la batalla de Puebla. Ajá, exacto, exacto. Mm -hmm. Más o menos traté de, de resumir un poquito, eh, Miss Claudia, ¿verdad? Lo, más, lo mm -hmm. que se trataba, ¿verdad? Espero no me haber mm -hmm. metido la pata. <risa> no, está bien. <risa> ok. Right. Ya entendimos. Nice. Entonces, si ustedes okay. gustan, tenemos todavía nueve minutos, ¿verdad? Para poder practicar. Si no, seguimos mañana, ¿verdad? Para que ya usted ya un poquito más con tiempo. No se preocupe. Ok. Ok, va, entonces. I'm going with, with my nephew on the street near in my house. Hoy me pregunto ese otro. Dele, dele. What is a holiday or festival? It's back in open air. Back in open air. Okay. When is it? He said this is in, in August. In, in Germany. 
Germany. Great. What are you going to do? Save a lot of money. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Bueno, terminamos la tarea, muchachos. Gracias. Ya nos sacaron. Ya, ya estamos en el último, ya, ¿verdad? Sí. We still have time. We still have time. But I need to give you feedback. Les quiero dar un poquito de feedback. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to the main section. Let's go back everyone. to the main section. Okay. Okay, so welcome back everyone. I know you were still practicing in here. Okay, I know you were still practicing uh, in here, but I need to give you feedback, all right? I just need to give you uh, feedback right now. You have two options to complete this activity. The first option is to use these questions as a guide. For example, if I'm practicing with, um, Let's see here. Let me open a room, all right? Just to make sure. Vamos a ver en un grupo para ejemplificar. Imagine that I'm with uh, Ms. Anayasi, Mr. Francisco, and Mr. Oscar Gamero, all right? They are in the same team. So Mr. Francisco was talking about a German uh, holiday, which is new for me, right? So in his classmates- It's not a holiday. It is it's just a festival. It's a festival, all right? So in that case, it's a festival, festival. All right? So it's, it's a festival. And thanks for clarifying that, sir. All right, it's a festival. So it's okay if Mr. Oscar and Mrs. Anayansi ask questions to you. That's okay. But right now I'm gonna ask you, okay, a big time favor to, to present information, everything at once. Like if you are the expert, right? Because I know that you're the expert. Like, okay, so uh, my friends, you start like this, Mr. Francisco. So I'm gonna talk about, or I will talk about uh, this German holiday or festival, I'm sorry. And this is what people do. And this is what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to save money, right? And then you, you keep on speaking. So right now you need to give like a short presentation. Y vamos a cambiarnos al español. Quizás por esta noche, ¿verdad? Por cuestión de tiempo y que lo hicimos así, ¿verdad? Demasiado apresurado. Ocupemos el modelo uno, que es pregunta y respuesta, para compartir la información. Pero el día de mañana, eh, si ustedes gustan, vamos a venir preparados o por lo menos ya mentalizados de que usted va, va a compartir esa información con sus compañeros de corrido. All right. Uh, what's the name of the festival, Mr. Francisco, by the way? Bakken. Bakken right. is in Bakken, Germany. All right. Okay. And then, mm -hmm. so tomorrow you can bring more information and speak in the breaker room, right? Because that's the idea. If you want to. O si ya se sabe la información, you just speak and explain everything in there. 30 seconds, you know, one minute, 45 seconds. Okay. So right now I'm going to send you back to the breaker room. Y en este en este momento sí vamos a ocupar verdad las preguntas guías verdad guiding questions solo para familiarizarnos. But tomorrow you're going to present in your breaker rooms, right? In your breaker rooms, so like. Independientemente si es el mismo breaker room o otro breaker room, okay? Puede ser el mismo. So let me send you back there right now just to keep on practice para no quitarles la inspiración, okay? Nice. One second, please. So let's go back in, in, in three minutes, please, because the class is almost over. In three minutes, regresamos. All right? Thank you.
Okay, about the Mother's Day. Mother's Day, yeah. Thank you, teacher. Hello. We okay. are choosing, we are choosing about the, the Mother's Day. special days. Okay. To okay. explanation tomorrow, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Let me share the, with the screen, please. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to have dinner with my family at the restaurant. Luego la otra, a cinco. Es, who's going to be there? Who's going to be there? Right. Yo le puse my sons and my, my wife. Ajá. Okay. Luego, when are you going to go? I use What? the ways. <laughs> Hello, aquí estamos. O como, o, como, o como decían allá en mi pueblo, Flor, eh, decían en el carro de Don Nando. Ah. Caminando. Yo sería en el carro. Ah. <risa> bueno, aquí en Santa Tecla hay bastantes lugares cerca. Ah, ok. Afortunada okay. de vivir en Santa Tecla. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Solo nice. que es muy caro es todo. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. Ok, ok, continue. Um, solo esas preguntas. Ok. Ok. Y las tiene apuntadas. Uh, gentlemen. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, yeah, men power over here, you see? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice, yes. I see that. Good. Uh, the next uh, with Nelson. Uh -huh. Okay, I I I. Un asueto como una conmemoración de algo, verdad? El festival es cuando hacemos una celebración, un la día celebración. Fe festivo, verdad? Uh -huh. Como el 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 día de la madre, el día del padre que ahora se ha vuelto aquí a sueto, pero antes era festivo. Era festivo. Celebrando. Sigue siendo festivo. Uh -huh. El Oktoberfest. <risa> pero entonces acá en El Salvador no tenemos La ningún fe festival. Solo los holidays sería 15 de septiembre porque es a sueto, a el sueltos. 1 de mayo. Sí. Ajá. Porque es el eh, cumpleaños de Saray. Ajá, el, el, el jueves y viernes santo. Por ejemplo, el Día es de la Cruz. Holiday. El Día de Pero la Cruz. Pero festividades, ¿cuáles tenemos? Es, es festivo, Festivity. porque no tenemos exacto. asueto. Exacto, exacto. Mm -hmm. Ah, es cierto. Ah, muy bien. Sí, nice. está bien. Wow. La explicación. Ya ven que claro. sí necesitaban estar en este grupo. Necesitábamos. Eh. Es que es la, es la confianza, o sea. I know. I know. Ay. Ok. All right, so hello everyone. The class is over and I just need to see who needs to stay in the breaker room right now, right? Hold on, please. Um, let me just one second from over here. Um, I don't know, maybe Miss Suma, I don't think she can stay. So in that case, Mr. Francisco Rodriguez, can you stay, sir? For the breaker room, Mr. Francisco, tonight? For today, I can't. You can't, teacher. all right. Uh, so let's see if, if somebody from, from uh, for the next week can stay, all right? Uh, let me just one second over here. Así para quizás adelantamos un día right now. Uh, one moment, please. Okay. According to this, uh, okay, Miss Susana no puede. Miss Evelyn is not today. Let's see. Uh, no, I'm gonna ask in this case, it's gonna be a voluntary. Who would like to stay please in the breakout room? I'm sorry, in, in the one-on-one -on -one session. Alguien que tenga tiempo, pero si no. Okay, Mr. Jimenez, thank you, sir. Yes. Go ahead, sir. Okay. All right, so hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, have a great night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Uh, see, you night. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you. Thank you. Goodbye, Karina. Bye, Mr. Tony.
<clears throat> all right, let me put some people over here in the waiting list, all right? Okay. Just one second over here. There we go. Okay, sir. How can I help okay. you? Hey. <laughs> hey, I, I, I don't know what is the 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 the, the purpose. Idea. The purpose, yes, the purpose. Of, the, of, of the one on one session. So, see, this is the this is my first time. It's your first time, yes. All right. So, let me explain the rules of the class if you want, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, so, in the one on one session, we, we can just practice English. Okay. We can review topics covered, or you can ask me questions about something like grammar or um, about the platform. So the uh, one on one section can take any direction, okay? Depending okay, okay. on what you need, right? So yes, it's up I, to you. I, I, okay, I need the the the, the correct idea. No say uh, correct idea. I don't know the correct idea of the the words when I I uh, I take a. Uh, um conversation with something okay uh, i i um uh, uh, um losing my losing the the idea okay about, you, you lose i see your point yeah uh-huh uh, when i but, talk about something you forget I, what to say I first but i uh, I lost him. You, you okay? Yeah, I see. Your, so you lose track of the idea, so you don't know what to say, right? Or you for or you forget what to say, right? Mm -hmm. Good, right, right. See, like right yes. now, or you you have you have the idea, but you don't know how to say it, right? Yes, yes. So that's what uh, happens in there. The but let, the verbs, the 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 verbs, uh, the. Mm -hmm. Eh, adjectives bueno, uh, quizás eh, bueno se lo voy a decir en español un poco that's okay, de repente that's me okay. pierdo en la en la idea de, de decir el verbo y decir los tiempos y decir un verbo como a veces hay así como como le pregunté la vez pasada que estaba el may y estaba el ken son un poco parecidos de repente eh, me viene la idea de que están los dos pero me uh -huh. me confunde o sea, me o sea. en me confundo en cuál decir y en qué tiempo decirlo, ¿verdad? Y okay. por ahí hay alguna palabrita que otra. Uh -huh. Vale. Usted ahorita se está aventurando uh -huh. en el hecho de, que, de, de producir inglés y comunicarse en el inglés. Entonces yo, inconscientemente, ¿verdad? Como, como facilitador, eh, he notado, ¿verdad? Los nuevos elementos que tenemos en la clase, ¿verdad? Los nuevos participantes. Y le comento eso porque yo el grupo lo vengo trayendo desde, desde enero, ¿ok? Uh -huh. A la gran mayoría. Entonces, hasta esta fecha, más o menos conozco, ¿verdad? Las fortalezas que tienen y las áreas que, en que pueden mejorar. Entonces, a usted lo, lo le he identificado que usted, como decimos en, en aquí, en el país, en el aire, ¿verdad? Acachado, ¿verdad? Hace los... La, las indicaciones que yo le doy, rapidito, está como, ok, esto es lo que vamos a hacer. Entonces, su cuestión de comprensión es excelente, ¿ok? okay. Y la cuestión auditiva, cuando hacemos los, los audios, es también a, a, notable, ¿verdad? Lo que usted, a, para el, el nivel que usted tiene, nivel 4, en Insafor, y por, quizás ser primera vez que está recibiendo clases intensivas, no sé cuándo fue la última vez que usted estudió inglés o si ya... No sé, ya agotó eh, otras academias. No, no, no. Este, bueno, realmente, eh, eh, bueno, el inglés que yo estudié, lo estudié del colegio, estamos hablando 20 años quizás. Uh, ah, Ahora, lo que ha sucedido es que en mi trabajo yo ocupo bastante inglés técnico, pero leído. O sea, yo estoy okay. en el área de informática y este, yo leo manuales en inglés. Eh, a veces recibo capacitaciones en inglés, pero son como... Eh, no es de alguien directo, sino que son videos Ajá. y están en inglés. Entonces, quizás eso me ha facilitado quizás un poquito entenderlo o tratarlo de entender de forma, como usted dice, agarrarlo en el aire. Eh, pero la conversación ya en donde yo quizás ya no, no puedo poner una pausa a un video y decir, 
ah, esto no lo entendí, le pongo pausa y, ah, ok, ya, ese, ya llego a la idea, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que ya no, es lo que ya me cuesta, digamos. Y, y sí, en mi área también, es, ahorita estoy, tengo algunos proveedores que, que nos dan soporte de la de, de infraestructura que yo estoy, nos dan soporte en inglés. Oh, okay. Entonces me quedo, me quedo. O sea, ellos empiezan a hablar algunas cosas, si se las entiendo, pero de repente me quedo en algunas. Y sobre todo cuando yo quiero hablar, ese es el gran problema que tengo. O sea, es el mayor problema. Cuando yo uh -huh. quiero uh -huh. tratar de decir la idea. Ok. Va, entonces yo lo, lo que le voy a recomendar es, uh, para comenzar, comencemos a, a ver un poquito más YouTube, un par de minutos al día de temas específicos que usted, no sé, vamos a ver un video de comida o cómo dar dirección, en verdad. Entonces, cosas así temáticas. Si no, yo me voy a dar la tarea, ¿verdad? Entre mañana o el fin de semana, ¿verdad? Para ser un poquito más eh, sincero con usted. Y, y, y en realidad... Buscar yo temas en el sentido de que en el aeropuerto, soporte técnico, eh, de viaje, vacaciones, eh, festivos, cosas así. Entonces, para que yo darle como una lista de los temas que usted puede ir viendo, para que inconscientemente el vocabulario se le vaya quedando. Okay. La forma en que la gente se va comunicando. Pero esto tiene que ser, Mr. Jiménez, un plan a mediano plazo. O sea, no va a ser de la noche a la mañana, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. Porque usted va comenzando con nosotros y vamos viento en popa, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, si se fija, todos los días, casi siempre es un tema nuevo. Sí. Entonces, nos movemos bien rápido, bastante rápido. Entonces, eh, no, de repente se va a frustrar o, o llega un momento de que usted dice, esto ya, ya no, ¿verdad? Ya no lo proceso, ¿verdad? O, o estoy viendo esto, lo de ayer ya no me, ya no me acuerdo. Eso puede pasar. Entonces, de su propia cuenta, tiene que empezar a buscar la forma de retroalimentar eso, ¿verdad? O por lo menos eh, complementar, ¿verdad? Lo que no se aprende sí. acá, fuera de ello, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. Otra idea que le puedo dar es que si estamos hablando de holidays, en este caso festividades, usted mismo haga la búsqueda, ok, ¿qué festividades hay? ¿Qué hace la gente? Y inconscientemente usted busca un artículo, ¿verdad?, eh, o algo, y ya usted comienza a leerlo y dice, ah, ok, así se dice, ¿verdad? Y de ahí yo le voy a recomendar un diccionario que a mí me sirve. Por cuestiones de derechos de autor, no le voy a mencionar el nombre, pero aquí se lo voy a mandar en Zoom, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, Para que usted lo copie y cree un favorito y ya de una sola vez usted ingresa, le va a dar la pronunciación, le va a dar cómo se ocupa en la oración si se ocupa como verbo, sustantivo, adjetivo, lo que sea, sinónimos. Google okay. Translator, a usted lo saca de verdad de apuros, pero sí. no es confiable. Okay. 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 Así que con ese diccionario usted va a estar matando dos pájaros de un solo tiro, porque va, va, va a aprender la pronunciación, el significado y cómo ocuparla en contexto. Ok, perfecto. El vocabulario a usted le va a ayudar mucho porque usted entiende, ¿verdad? Sigue la dinámica. Puede leer, pero es normal que le cueste expresarse, ¿verdad? Porque como no ha practicado y su cerebro tiene que ir procesando todo eso, ¿verdad? Como una computadora es como que va lento, pero es normal, no se nos frustre. Uh -huh. Ok. <ríe> ok, okay perfecto, perfecto. es normal, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero no me va a dejar mentir, de aquí a unos cinco meses, primero Dios, usted se mantiene con nosotros o sigue estudiando por su propia cuenta o en otro lugar, ¿verdad? Independientemente todo ese bagaje o ese, ese vocabulario que usted tiene de forma dormida, por así decirlo, de forma pasiva, va a ir saliendo mediante usted ya se va exponiendo al idioma. Yo se lo aseguro. Ok, okay gracias. Tío. Entonces vamos a comenzar compartiéndole lo que le digo. ¿verdad? Yo ocupo este diccionario todos los días, ¿verdad? Todos los días, porque nosotros uh -huh. no hablamos inglés fuera del trabajo. Usted lee el inglés, ¿verdad? Pero afuera no tiene con quién practicar. Entonces, eso no, no, no pasa factura, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo porque como de eso, ¿verdad? Todo el día paso haciendo lo mismo, entonces algo tengo que mejorar. <ríe> ok. <ríe> Vaya, le voy a explicar rápidamente la dinámica uh, de Insafor, ¿verdad? O lo que se espera. Uh -huh. Permita, pero le voy a compartir esto aquí en, en, en Zoom. 
Ahí está. Ok, sí, ya, ya, ya vi, ya vi. Así como está, ya, guárdelo y, 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 y se familiariza, ¿verdad? Y usted va a ir descubriendo, ya que es bueno en computación, usted va a ir viendo la cuestión informática. En Insafor sí. son tres, tres requisitos, yo les mencioné. Existe la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que es esta. Eh, aquí está. Esta plataforma que está dividida en cuatro secciones. Yo lo llamo unidades, ¿verdad? Sección 1, 2, 3 y 4. Son bien simples, opción múltiple, son cinco preguntas, pero usted tiene que ingresar a la sección, le va a dar la unidad y de ahí son cinco actividades por unidad, ¿verdad? O por sección. Okay. Lo ideal es que usted, cada semana usted complete una sección, la unidad que está dentro de ella y las cinco actividades. ¿Verdad? Right? Okay. Entonces, para resumirle, ¿verdad? Cada sección es como una unidad que le tiene cinco tareas cortas de opción múltiple. Ok. Entonces, al final del curso, usted tiene que hacer cuatro unidades, un parcial y un examen final. ¿Dónde puede ver el, okay. el parcial? Está después de la unidad 2. Aquí está, el que dice midterm. Ese es el parcial. Y luego, después Perfecto. de la sección 4, usted va a tener acá el final exam. Okay. Yo lo que le recomiendo es, si, si el tiempo se le dificulta, trabaje entre el jueves y el viernes, ¿verdad? Cada unidad, las cinco actividades, ¿verdad? O las hace diariamente o en un solo sentón, usted va a decidir. Pero al final, póngale cuidado, digamos, ya después de la segunda semana. Perdón. ¿Cómo, cómo ¿Cuánto tiempo se le dedica, teacher? Fíjese digamos, que la 20 minutos lo hace. Media hora okay. exagerando. Media hora exagerando. Eh, de hecho, yo le voy a decir algo. Su, los participantes me han dicho que las clases, los ejercicios, son más demandantes o más difíciles que la plataforma. Ah, ok. Ok. Entonces, okay. yo solo aseguro que así es. Entonces... Póngale cuidado mediante vayamos avanzando a, a realizar los midterm ya cuando tengamos más, más material y el, el examen final, ¿verdad? Usted va a decir, no, yo lo puedo hacer. La ventaja es que lo puede hacer una, dos, tres, cuatro, las veces que usted quiera, es ilimitado. Ok, perfecto. Entonces ahí, si se equivoca, lo vuelve a hacer y usted dice, 80% necesita, pero usted puede apuntarle al 100%. Ok. Eso es perfecto, uno. Perfecto, y, uh -huh. y lo que yo les pido de favor es que si lo pueden terminar el viernes, digamos, o el sábado a más tardar para que yo eh, reporte las notas porque a mí me fiscalizan, ¿verdad? Para ir alimentando. Ah, okay. Okay. ok. Por eso se los pido. No, porque en realidad tenemos un mes para completar todo. Ok. Ok. Por sí, cuestiones sí. internas. Bueno, entonces, ok, ya, ya, ya me queda claro cuántos son los tiempos. Sí, entonces, exactamente. Ya... Sí, porque yo me estaba poniendo... El... Digamos que todo lo visto en la semana lo hacía al principio de la otra semana, pero en este uh -huh. caso mejor me voy a adelantar y lo sí. voy a hacer antes. De... Y, y de hecho la primera semana tenemos más margen de error, ¿verdad? Porque solo es la primera unidad, pero después de la segunda unidad, usted tiene que terminar la segunda unidad y comenzar a hacer el parcial. Correcto. Ajá. Entonces, y así, ya, ya un poquito más presionado. Luego Ajá. la asistencia... Eh, si usted lo saca de la clase, vuélvase a, a ingresar, porque al final lo que cuenta son los minutos de conexión. Sí, sí, es, me imagino que eh, yo he interactuado un poquito con las cuestiones esta de Zoom y tiene, usted puede sacar un reporte de asistencia. Exacto, exacto. Eh, exacto. No importa las veces que sea conectado, él hace uh -huh. la suma, usted uh -huh. hace un resumen de eso. Exactamente, sí, sí usted como, 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 como lo hacen. Ex, ex, experto en eso, de hecho. Así que, bienvenido al programa. Espero Muchas las gracias. clases le, le parezcan eh, productivas. Sí, sí, así y, es. Y, y, y ahí vamos. Bueno, muchas gracias, ¿verdad? teacher. Sí, solamente sí. le comento que lo de las one-on-one -on -one sessions, eh, por cuestiones de cantidad de participantes y por el tiempo, son solamente 20 días, ¿verdad? Porque son días hábiles. Sí. Y somos 20 participantes, así que solo una vez nos vamos a ver las caras. Correcto, correcto. Bueno, sí. es más, yo no, creo Ajá. que no estaba ni cal calendarizado, pero... Creo que alguien no pudo, asumo yo, Ajá. para el día de ahora, porque en todo el calendario no aparecía. Ajá. Pero sí. viendo la oportunidad, pues por eso dije yo, voy a Sí, voy exactamente. A Ajá. Exacto. Así okay. que bienvenido, así se lo digo, y, y podemos ayudarle, y usted me ayuda también, ¿verdad? Con los grupos ahí, con la actitud. Claro, y... claro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Muchas favor. gracias, teacher. All right. Thank you, sir. So, time is okay. up. <laughs> <laughs> ok. All right. Thanks. Goodbye. Buenas noches. Bye.